Hi, I'm going to give you a small tutorial on how to use WPTK to customize your Linux desktop. So first we're going to start by using uh, Pacman to install Python pip, which is a tool that will help us install Python packages and all their dependencies. Once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and use pip to install WPTK. That should be easy enough. Now we're going to go ahead and install Python Gobject, which is the, li the Python library which allows us to have uh, a user interface, which is kind of a central idea to WPGTK. Next, it should look something like this. If you have this, we're good. Now that I've fixed my resolution, we're going to go ahead and install some other dependencies that WPTK has, which are Image Magic and Wallpaper Setter, uh, which could be Fe, which is what I'm going to use in this tutorial. So. Um, after we're done with that, we'll be ready to uh, set our first wallpaper and our first color scheme. So we have go ahead and click on that. And the, the color scheme is automatically generated by PyWall. But as you will be able to see, there are some differences between pure PyWall color schemes and the color schemes that are processed by WPGTK. As you can see, uh, there is a defined set of background and foreground, and you can edit these colors in the color tab. Now we're going to go ahead and set this color. As you can see, uh, the colors have changed in the terminal, but I'm going to use a simple bash script to show off these colors in a more efficient manner. So you can see the real differences that were between uh, using the WPGTK and nothing at all. You can see the full termite colors over there and in order to load up WPGTK colors on a startup we're going to need to add a new line to our configuration file for the uh, for the shell that we are using in this case the C shell and what we're going to do is that we're simply going to parse the sequences that are generated by PyWall each time we load up a shell so the colors are loaded instantly and we're going to try this out you will see that the colors will appear almost instantly and these are the same colors that I have to my left now we're going to go ahead and run wpg install sh which is a script I include to install the most common templates that there are. For example, in this case we're going to use the i3 template, the icon set, and the GTK template. The purpose of these templates is to change dynamically, which is wallpaper change, and this will give us uh, infinite customization for this software, since each time we set a wallpaper it's going to I don't really change the colors that are in those configuration files and you can edit them and you can customize them as much as you want so we go ahead and combine the flags in order to get the templates that we need you can see that they're being grabbed from a repository if you have an issue or if you have a question or a feature request on each one of these themes that is the repository that you have to go to. Um, this is script overrides your IT config. Well, you don't have to worry that much about it because it generates a backup file. And once we're done with that, you can go with L experience and set the themes that are actually going to change color. For example, for GTK, we're going to use flat color. And for the icon themes, we're going to use flatter color icons which will change each time I set a new wallpaper or a new color scheme using WPGTK and I'm going to demonstrate that in a few seconds go ahead and open WPG 
OK and I set this wallpaper you can see the i3 configuration already taking place over there you can see that the border colors are now in line with what the terminal reflects and the GTK2 theme re also reflects that along with the icons which are color green one of the colors in the color scheme and I hope this gives you an idea of how powerful WPTK can be. On the next video we're going to review some of these features at, with more depth. So join me in the next video and thank you for watching this video.